Good morning, everyone. We're going to continue plowing where we left off yesterday. We finished harvesting this field. And I think um, before we even finish plowing this field, we're going to just jump into the field right next to us, that grass, and finish plowing that field. Convert that into a crop field. Hey, Apco, how's it going? Hey, Oren, how's it going? Guys jumped on pretty quick. Let's take a quick look. How is our money situation? We have 40000 left to pay off on our loan. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And as always, I invite everyone to join us in live chat and in-game. Join us in-game. Everything you need is down below in the description. The power of notifications. Yes, when they actually work. Hey, Anthead. When YouTube's notifications actually work, that's awesome. Oren says he's doing awesome. I just woke up. I think I'm doing awesome. I smell smoke pretty thick in the air, but outside... I don't see all that much smoke. I know there's a local fire here. Oh no. Reattach that. Okay. Yes, let's make sure we're using the right right tool here. So I'm just going to drive through here and plow this grass field. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of smoke in the air, but there is a fire really close to us. Like, ten minutes close to us right now. It's not a very big one, but there is a fire pretty close. So, uh... uh pretty smoky. Well, I smell the smoke. Uh, we live in British Columbia, B.C., BC. British Columbia B British Columbia is BC. Uh, British Columbia, Canada. Okay, we're going to have to turn create field on. Allow create field. Uh, hey Joshua, welcome back. Um, Hapco lives in Wonderland. Uh, Oren uh, lives in Alberta. Cool, we're neighbors. And Anthead, Anthead, yes, I am plowing up the beautiful grass. Beautiful soccer field. And Joshua says soccer is his favorite sport. Uh, mine would have to be uh, hockey. Hey VRF, how's it going? Oh, you guys started harvesting in Alberta two days ago. Cool. Feels early to me, but I guess it is that time of year. Uh, what kind of crops are you guys harvesting? Hey, Anthead, I agree with you. Um, in Manitoba, we used to have a huge field. 
um, three acres and I would mow that all the time with a little Massey Ferguson 1010 uh, VRF if you're uh, asking about uh, your parody video I did watch that but I only saw one video Wheat, canola, and barley. Cool. Wheat, canola, and barley. Hey, or in uh, the other map, I also pl I play uh, the Northern Alberta map on our stream here as well. You might enjoy that. That's a little more up what you see in the real world in Alberta. Um, I grew up in Manitoba, so similar type of terrain depends where in Alberta obviously hey Ranting Dairy how's it going Close to the hedge. Let's not do that. There we go. Uh, renting dairy, what is Seco control. And then the second question is Did she destroy it on purpose, or was it an accident? Oh, okay, so it was a radio control tractor that she destroyed. <laughs> so the second question, did she do that on purpose? 140 euros, I don't know what that is in Canadian funds. Sounds rather expensive. That was strange. Got a funny wiggle there and didn't want to plow that bit. A VRF, I definitely did not put those music bots in Discord. Or try music bots in Discord. Uh, so at least she didn't do it on purpose. That, that's a good thing. It's still money out of your pocket, but at least she didn't do it on purpose. Uh, Ant Head says that's a 200 Canadian. Yeah, that's a uh, that's that's a little bit of money. <laughs> it's a little bit of money. Uh, beep beep. I'm a cheap. Beep beep sounds more like a. Uh, moped than a cheap. Ah. I could probably turn create field back off, huh? Let 
the two fields. Okay, I think that's we're set up there. Well, as a rule, renting dairy that I have, when I wreck somebody else's stuff, I pay for it. I try to anyway. Sometimes people won't take the money, but I try to pay for stuff that I wreck. All right, see a VRF. <laughs> uh, Anthad says beep beep is what he says when he grabs his nephew's nose. Uh, funny. And that's a motto I have as an adult, as a kid. Yeah, I destroyed a lot of my brother's stuff. Not as much of my sister's stuff, but... Yeah, we were mean to each other. I guess I could set up a GPS here and make my life a bit easier. Alright, so see ya renting dairy. Make sure you guys hit those thumbs up before you guys leave. Powering. Oh, it must be some rocks in the ground or something. Hey, thanks, Renting Dairy. <laughs> when you grab their nose, Orin says, don't you think that's uh, assault? <laughs> Assaultive? Today everything is an assault, isn't it? Okay, let's adjust this. pretty good might be a little too wide yeah I think we have our setting a little too wide let's narrow it up yeah that looks better there we go <laughs> ant head you are a monster <laughs> I was just thinking if uh, my parents had been allowed to spank me as a kid when I had done something wrong, I would not be the same person I am now. I'd be that spoiled brat that some people are now. There's a difference between child abuse and also small punishments. And yes, there's different ways of punishing than a slap on the bum, but that is a method of punishment that I have to still agree with. 
I'm sure a lot of you will not agree with it. Everyone you everyone that says that I got hit and I'm fine has some kind of massive uh, dysfunction in their life. Yeah, I didn't get hit. I I didn't get hit as a kid, but I got lightly spanked. I knew when there was things wrong. But there's definitely a, there's definitely a difference between uh child abuse and punishment. If you get bruised or welts from it, yeah, that's that's not cool. Yeah, I'm definitely not advocating beating the crap out of your kids. <clears throat> Most of my punishment as kids were, though, do the dishes. You have to do the dishes for a week, for a month. That was my punishment. Never got grounded in my life, ever. Had my TV and gameplay revoked, but the worst punishment was doing dishes. Uh oh. Obviously, I have to turn allow create fields back on. No, 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 no. Woo. Uh, I bet you that turned off the allow create fields. It did. There we go. There's a honk honk, or just a honk. Yeah, uh, and there's definitely different alternative uh, methods of uh, punishment too, like I said. Worst punishment I had was doing dishes. Well, we're making some good progress on this field. Still yawning. Still waking up. No. Farmer Joe's answer is still asleep. Uh, apparently I'm sleep playing or are you saying you are still asleep a little of both <laughs> I 
<laughs> Maybe I am dreaming. Uh, I would hope I'd have better dreams than this. I hope my dreams would be in the real tractor. Just have to remember I gotta create fields on. If I go too wide on the end, I would chop that grass down on the end. That would be a disaster. I think that'd be a good screenshot, don't you? Oops. That's not the button I wanted to hit. Didn't realize how steep this hill is. Definitely a steep hill. There we go, it straightens up over here. But that is a much steeper hill than it looked like originally. So, Farmer Joe is showing me pictures of the Peachland fire. It's grown huge, so that fire is uh, the one that's, what, maybe half an hour away from us? It's about half an hour away from us. It's a new fire that started yesterday and uh, human caused and out of control. So that is probably why we're smelling all that smoke in the air. That is not good. Oh yeah, uh, Farmer Joe's got some pictures here from online and uh, that's a crazy fire. That's kind of scary. And that's some main artery highways going through that area too, so that could block, out, block off some evacuation routes for any other fires that might start in this area. never noticed that bar going across the cab. Oh, that's just to mount the GPS. Got it. I know, Ant Head, we didn't uh, plant this grass. We, we uh, bought this field as grass, and it's uh, way down here. You can see field 37 way on the bottom there. That's the blinking yellow is me, or blinking green as me and uh, it's way too far away from our BGA which is on the top right corner there so we planted field 7 into grass <coughs> if we wanted more grass we'd probably plant field 6 or something like that close to the P BGA that way we don't have to drive such a long distance to get grass to the uh, silage pit
And this grass field way out here is kind of useless because we have enough grass close to it right now. So. Uh, in game cult running cultivator over the grass does nothing. In the real world running the cultivator over grass it'll make it look like this for a little while and it'll just grow right up again. Um, for grass you really want to plow and bury the grass down deep low so it doesn't come pop right back out. I know uh, on our garden just with a small massive Ferguson 1010 we didn't have a plow uh, when we used the cultivator it did very little to the grass but when we uh, used our tiller and just beat the heck out of it that would do a pretty good job it didn't do enough so we would leave it black wait for the grass to start coming back and then till it again a couple of times like that until we had killed it our grass uh, grass is definitely a plant that you have to bury it pretty deep to make it not come back. Anthead says grass is pretty hardy. Indeed it is. There we go. I think that's the last pass and then we'll uh, do the other field right beside us and then we'll have to seed it after that. Yeah, grass after wildfire, grass will pop right back out. Unless you've destroyed the roots, grass keeps coming back. Okay. So, limit to fields, limit to fields, no, don't do that. There's a great section about grass in the plains um, in the movie Planet Earth. I haven't seen Planet Earth. I should. I like watching documentaries. Yeah, Endgame does a way of the cutting down trees, but I wish there's a way of getting rid of shrubs too, because I would be uh, making these uh, drives between the fields a little easier to get to. Planet Earth and Planet Earth 2. Yeah, I'll have to do that sometime and see if I can find a way of watching that. After this field is plowed, we'll uh, bring it back and grab a cedar, seed this field.
Okay, I'll have to. I will have to do a search. Can't be that hard to find. But you have to remember, Anthead, our Netflix is completely different than your Netflix. Because of Canadian laws. Canadian laws state that a certain percentage of content has to be Canadian content on any Canadian channels, including Netflix and radio. Uh, wiggly waggly all over the place there. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, joining in live chat. whole bunch of you guys joined today, so thank you. We will see you guys again tomorrow, or later on today, so hit that subscribe button and have those notifications on. We uh, may be heading straight out and doing some kayaking after this stream. Not a hundred percent sure if Farmer Joe still wants to do that with the smoke. Should do the trick there. But we'll, we'll see. Ah yes, How It's Made is an awesome show. If you guys have not watched it, um, there's a bunch of How It's Made on YouTube as well. So, um, Google How It's Made. Yeah, I agree, Anthead. You just keep watching how it's made. Even every now and then you hit the episodes that you've already watched, but it's so interesting, you just keep watching. <laughs> They used to do that on kids shows and you were fascinated. Yeah, how it's made is pretty cool. So, what is a stitch and pig? <sighs> Farmer Joe says they had a stitch and pig. I guess it's a... Pig roast? Anyway, what was I saying there? I was saying goodbye to everyone. I completely got distracted. I was enjoying my plowing. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can get to watch our channel all the time. And if you're joining us live, remember, we keep streaming after the end of the episode. So, have a great day. We will see you tomorrow.